Q Dogs in the building, huh? Right, chill with the mic. Look, 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 let me tell you something. No, I ain't gonna get paid tonight. I done throw the mic up. Tearing up shit. My mama should have talked to me before this. You know, you go to the store, you might don't touch shit. I should have touched nothing. I tore it up. We just passed the mic. Pass it out there. Out there. Well, y'all a good looking crowd, though. That's what I like about being in LA. Everybody look good. This motherfucker is anti ugly. <laughs> LA is anti ugly, but I like that shit. Because it makes me feel safe when I go out and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because let's be real. Okay? The only people start problems is ugly motherfuckers. <laughs> That's who start problems. You know what I'm saying? You go to the club, you know what I mean? It's fun because it's all good looking people. But that ugly dude, sometimes, he might just sneak past security. Then when he get in, he don't even know what to do because he ain't never even been in before. He ain't supposed to be in there, but he in there now. And the motherfucker just in there mad and ugly and angry all at the same time. Ugh. Ugh. Look at all these pretty motherfuckers. Ugh. Having fun and shit. Ugh. I should whoop somebody ass. I should rob somebody. But guess what? You can't get in. Because it's LA. It's anti-ugly in this bitch. But they can't stop it. You know what I'm saying? They can't stop it. The motherfucker then what he do? He get he get ugly and smart. And then he just be like, I'm just gonna wait outside. They gotta come out sometime. Then he waiting outside in the parking lot like Dracula in the back. Just, <sighs> Like he's just stalking people and shit. Ladies coming out, hey, hey, what's up with you? Nothing, you ugly motherfucker. Nothing. I'm telling you, man, other people are always starting problems. Other people start shit where you're not even supposed to start shit. We're supposed to be a happy place. One time I was at the Bucky Nikes. For you squares that don't understand, that's, that's, a, that's a strip club. So I'm in there, right? And I run into this dude that I knew from back home. And we talking a little bit. This happened to be in the bathroom. We talking a little bit. Everything's going cool, right? And next thing you know, he just come out of left field and tells me some shit like, mind you, he ain't the best looking motherfucker, but it's going like me in a strip club. Everybody love you in a strip club. You can't be mad, right? He tell me some shit. He said, oh, by the way, you ain't got to worry about shit. I got the strap on me right now. That's for y'all that don't get it. That means he got a pistol on him right now in the strip club. Right now. So I'm trying to play it like I'm cool. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, yeah. And in my mind, I'm like, what the fuck? This is supposed to be a happy place. Not dancing and titties. And you got a pistol? Damn, that's fuck. When you that ugly, when you just feel like, I'm not going to have fun nowhere. I just got to start some shit. That's bad. But it don't stop with ugly dudes. Oh, yeah. Ugly chicks go out, too. Oh, they go out. They get in, but see, they get in the club. They make it in. Y'all know how they get in? They camouflage themselves with pretty girls. That's how they do the shit. Come up to the front door, be like five pretty girls right here, and then you got the ugly girl in the middle just, just, just creeping in. That's, but they got a contract deal. They got a plan. They done work this shit out. You see what I'm saying? And the deal is this. The deal is, we gonna get your ugly ass in, but when you come in with us, you gonna be the protector slash hater slash bodyguard, right? So then as soon as, what happened, fellas? Y'all go try and talk to a pretty girl, then out of nowhere, you don't even know where the fuck she came from. Oh no, no. We all are leaving together. We are leaving together. We have to go right now. She cannot stay with you. She cannot stay with you. I don't even know you. Whoa, I don't know you either. Protector slash hater slash bodyguard. What the fuck? What part of the game is that? Just out of nowhere. But you can't be mad at ugly girls. Because they are good for something. Ugly girls will shut a fucking dance floor down. Because they gotta do something right. They like, fuck me. You look, I'm ugly. I'm just gonna put this ass all on you. Maybe you might like it. Fellas, I'm serious. You wanna have a good time? Ask the ugly girl to dance. But you better pack a lunch, goddamn because it's finna go down. If you dance with ugly girl, you better be ready. I mean, she gon' she's gonna all that shit is coming, all that's coming at you. It's coming at you. But you better hope she don't turn her ugly ass around, because all that fun is gonna stop. As soon as you look at her, goddamn. You better believe that shit. I'm telling you, man, ugly people fuck some shit up. I was at a restaurant one time. I'm serious. 
can't make this shit up. Ugly dude I hear from behind me. Ugly dude, I knew he was ugly because he said this shit. He was like, you got an eye problem, nigga? And I was like, I don't even have eyes in the back of my head, so I know he ain't talking to me. But he was talking to my boy and shit. Like, he mad at him because the girl got up. He thought he was looking at his girl. And then we got crazy as fuck that, right? You know what I'm saying? Then he go crazy. And he's like, yeah, I see you over there, son. I don't give a fuck who you with. Gunfire rings out for shit like that where I'm from, son. Then it got weird. Then he says, I see you over there with your little shirt all unbuttoned with your chest out and shit. And I'm like, damn, do you want to fight this nigga? Fuck it. <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm Roy Jackson. That's my time. Thanks.